all right welcome back to another video um i'm pretty much piggybacking off uh, another video that i made um how to re remove the thermostat uh, i already did it so if you'd like to go back and check that video out um, but this video here is going to be about uh, removing the alternator uh, the main goal for this vehicle is to remove the intake and I'll be um, doing upper and lower intake gaskets on it so it is like a step by step process so if I help y'all in any kind of way like comment and subscribe um, without further ado let's get right into this so as you can see basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the wire harness uh, this wire here and I'll be showing y'all how to remove the servitine belt basically there's a tensioner here and you're going to pull this tensioner back and release the belt now I suggest if you don't know how to do this um, or if you get confused with the um, how to put it back on I suggest you take a picture or something but um, once I get this off I'm going to um, um, be right back with you guys so I just wanted to show y'all um, how I took it off basically I got a three-quarter wrench and I use a, a an extension and a socket for leverage and basically all you do is pull it like that as you can see the tensioner is moving but I already got the belt off I just wanted to show y'all how to get it off there um, but now my next step is to uh, take the bolts off in this wire in here and I'll be back with you guys and I'll be showing y'all the alternator that it's out. All right, I just wanted to show y'all something. Um, these could be kind of troublesome getting off. So basically what I did, I took this screwdriver, it was in like that and you take it out like that, you know, you push out. And pull up just like this piece here this this one here is kind of hard like as well and I also forgot to mention that you do have two bolts on the bottom side that you have to take off this alternator here and here um, but what I do is once I take my bolts out let me show y'all what I do I put my bolts back in the area that they came out of and these bolts down here are for the lower lower bolts for the alternator this one here and that one over there and these two are the top ones and I always try to put them back so therefore I won't have to be looking for them you know I just screw them in a little bit just a good tip for you but uh if I helped y'all in any kind of way please like comment and subscribe I greatly appreciate y'all watching my video stay tuned for the next video um, it will be a continuation of this video um, it will be basically removing all this wiring and the intake so stay tuned for that y'all have a good day